we're gonna pretend that this is a roll of hay. This here is the back end of my pickup truck. And this is the hay spear on my tractor. A lot of people think you should do this. Wow, look at that. Doesn't that stack nice and neat to the back of your pickup truck? And then if you're you're even luckier that the tailgate could go right up, you could have a nice and secure load wherever you're hauling it to. But I'm here to tell you there's a problem with that. There is, there's a flaw in all of that. How many of you can tell me before I show you what is the problem with stacking hay in your pickup truck like this. Don't cheat. Don't look ahead. Press pause on your video and tell me right now, what is the design flaw in trying to load and move hay like that? We'll get to it a little bit later in the video. Y'all enjoy. a second and explain to you all the way or the reason behind the way you stack hay because there's a lot of people even folks who work at feed stores who load hay who don't understand the right way and so what you have to do is knowing that the way that you load hay might be easier certain ways but unloading it would be impossible if you don't do it right so let me give you an example let's just pretend that i need two rolls of hay I go to the feed store, he puts the first roll of hay like this, where he spears it, sets it right there, and then he brings the second roll of hay and just takes this second roll of hay and pushes the first roll of hay forward. Well, yes, he could fit both rolls of hay inside my truck very easily. It would fit, we could even close the tailgate, have a nice secure ride. But here's the problem. Once you get back home and you want to unload that hay, the first roll, well, which is really the one loaded second, is easy. You come by and you stick it, lift it, and you unload it. Easy peasy. But here's the problem. If that roll of hay were turned the same way, then your hay spear would never reach from where your tractor has to stop up to that roll of hay. It wouldn't reach. You have to try to find a way to stick your hay from the side and a hay spear does not go into the side of the hay very easily at all. You might can force it in there, but what you're gonna do is risk damaging your truck in that process. All right, it is now that time of the video where I gotta show you the problem with this. Now, even though we were able to load the hay easy enough, the problem happens when we get back to the house uh, or the farm, or the ranch, and we want to unload the hay. Here goes the problem. Hay spear. Mm -hmm. 
we pick up and we unload that first roll without a problem. No problems at all, right? But look at this. Uh-oh. Oh no. Do y'all see what I see? Hank, would you move? Hank, this is not about you. Just The problem right here is that your hay spear is not long enough to reach the other bell of hay. And if you, you need to get out of my video. This is serious, Hank. And if you think that you're gonna go over here and jump, 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 a proper, properly rolled hay roll is not gonna let you spear it just anywhere. You're gonna end up damaging the back of your truck by trying to push that hay into the bed of your pickup. That's the problem. So this, my friends, is the proper way to load hay. So the way you load your hay, it's very important that you put your first roll in sideways, your second roll in like a roll of toilet paper, this over here. When I get to the JL property, I'll come by and I'll unload this one here first very easily, stick it, lift it, and move it. And then I'll come up along the side of my truck where my hay spear is plenty long enough to go in and stick it from here to unload. Will it ride as easy this way? Mm, it will because my truck is a long bed and has plenty of space. Uh, do I have to strap it in? I don't have to, but I will just to be safer, just in case. But um, there is a science behind it. And uh, the funniest thing to me is when you go to a feed store and the guy who works there doesn't understand that concept. And he's just looking to, he'll put the first roll in, the second roll in. If you have a trailer, he'll put the third roll in and he pushes them all forward. But he's like, doesn't realize when you get home, you're gonna have a hell of a time unloading them. So there is a science behind it that not everyone understands. So if you're ever out and about and you see a guy moving hay, in the back of a truck or even in a trailer, there is a science behind the proper way to load it so that unloading it is a whole lot easier. Lester, where's your cowboy hat? I thought you had a whole new look for the new year. I do, but the problem is, come to find out in the winter time, you have to have a felt cowboy hat and I don't have a felt cowboy hat. So it looks like next time I go to a Exxon or Texaco, I'll have to ask around, where do you keep your felt your felt hats? <laughs> so yeah, I'm back to I'm a survivor, caps. But there's no little spin. Boom. What's wrong, baby? Eat. Why are you looking at me far? Why are you looking at me far? Go eat, sweetie. Oh, you want to eat with Ruby? Okay. Oh, no. Y'all got trouble coming your way. Ruby, look up, sweetie. Jolene, be nice to them. Jolene. Jolene is always trying to start trouble. Look at there. Danny has found her very own food bowl, like a big girl. Patsy's doing fine over here. There's another food trough that no one is eating on. I wish the calves would come up with a lot of feed here. I put enough feed here for the calves to eat for a little bit, but no one's making their way over here. Oh, well, here comes Charlene. She's like, you know what? I'll give it a shot. But the cows are good. I'm about to put the hay out. And I wanted to get them distracted first before I get that gate open and start moving that tractor around. And I'm still going to go hunt for that barrel. We're still missing our barrel. Now you might say, Lester, it doesn't fit. There's some hanging off the back end. You're never gonna close your tailgate. No, you won't close your tailgate. You won't be able to close your tailgate unless you have a really long extended back end. But you put a strap on there and it holds to what hay fine. Plus, 
because this hay is sitting this way, it won't roll anyway. It's not gonna roll anywhere. When you get to your destination, watch how easy. 